In the math course that I teach, a student can be given a question where they are provided with a coordinate plane with a polygon graphed upon it. And they are given the coordinates of the vertices. Then they are asked, prove that this shape is a trapezoid. Or besides trapezoid, they could be asked to prove any of a number of different shapes. The question is somewhat simplified by the fact that we can see that it is a quadrilateral and that it is a closed polygon, so we don't have to prove those facts. We just have to prove that this closed quadrilateral is a trapezoid. What is also implied in the question is we are proving that this polygon is a trapezoid and not a parallelogram. In the case of all three types of trapezoid that I'm going to discuss here, we're being asked to prove that we have that type of trapezoid and it is not a parallelogram. To prove that the shape is a trapezoid, all we have to prove is that it has two sides that are parallel and that the other two sides are not parallel. And to do this, we use the slope formula. We will do the slope formula for all four sides and we will prove that two sides are parallel. In the case of this example, it would be this side here parallel to this side there. Once we have got our slopes and we prove that two slopes are the same, we have proven parallelism because parallel lines have the same slope. In order for our demonstration to be complete, we have to say this fact about a trapezoid, that two sides are parallel and the other two sides are not. We have to say we are using the slope formula, not just plug numbers into it and get a slope, but say that is what we were using. And we have to make it clear we know that parallel lines have the same slope. Finding the two lines with the same slope proves that we have two sides that are parallel because parallel lines have the same slope. And then finding the other two sides and seeing that they do not have the same slope, that proves that they are not parallel because parallel lines have the same slope. We have to include all of this in order to completely answer the question. When we are asked instead to prove that we have a right trapezoid, the beginning of the process is the same as proving that it's trapezoid. We prove that we have two sides parallel, that the other two sides are not. We use the slope formula and we say that parallel lines have the same slope. But we must also prove in order for it to be a right trapezoid that it has an internal 90 degree angle. And the way to do that is, again, using the slope formula. Although we've already used the slope formula on all four sides, we still have to say we are using the slope formula to prove that we have an internal 90 degree angle. And we have to show that two perpendicular lines exist inside the trapezoid by showing that those two lines have negative reciprocal slopes. We have to say that we are proving that, and then we have to demonstrate it with the numbers. Of course, a right trapezoid would have two internal 90 degree angles. But if you have already proven that it is a trapezoid here, as soon as you've proven one internal 90 degree angle, the second one has to exist, and you don't have to prove it separately. If we are asked to prove that we have an isosceles trapezoid, then the beginning of the demonstration is, again, the same as the demonstration of a trapezoid. Two sides parallel, the other two sides not parallel. We are using the slope formula, and we are using the fact that parallel lines have the same slope. But we must also prove that the two non-parallel opposite sides are congruent. We will prove that we have two congruent sides, and we will prove that with the distance formula. We will plug the coordinates of the vertices into the distance formula and get the same distance twice for our two congruent sides, and we will have to say that we know the two non-parallel opposite sides must be congruent, and we have to say that we are using the distance formula to prove that. 